Welcome to Inspire Sports Victoria. My name is Lucas, and today we're going to learn how to build a floor beam. To make the perfect beam, we need the perfect width. With our tape measure, we're going to measure out the beam to approximately 11 centimeters width-wise. Starting off with our materials, the gymnastics beam is made of leather. However, for a home beam and with COVID precautions, one of the best materials we can use is marine vinyl. It's still slippery enough to do gymnastics churns, but also is waterproof so we can wipe it down with any cleaning agents. The second material we're going to need is just a plank of wood, approximately one inch thick. This will create the base for the beam for stability, as well as the surface for the actual fabric to staple to. Next up is interlocking foam blocks. These are used for the cushion over top of the beam and can be picked up at your local Walmart or Canadian Tire. Last but not least are small things. An X-Acto knife for cutting the fabric and the foam, a staple gun for wrapping the marine vinyl around and stapling it to the wood, a tape measure to make sure our wood and marine vinyl is measured to the correct distance, and an adhesive spray to help stick down the glue to the wood. The first step in making our beam, we're gonna grab our X-Acto knife, our wood, and our foam. Place the wood at the edge, and then slide it about a quarter inch over. The reason for this is when we create our beam, we don't want to have wood on the edges for when we're walking. So that little bit of overhang on each side will make the difference. When we have the quarter inch on one side, we're gonna take our X-Acto knife and lightly score along the edge. Once we've scored along the edge, we can then remove the wood and cut a little bit deeper through. Once we have the beam width cut out of the foam, we can cut off the little knobs at the end to make a nice clean cut. Next, we're gonna adhere the foam to the wood. Right now, I'm using a 3M multi-purpose adhesive, but any strong adhesive or instant cement will work. Spray a small layer all the way down the back of the wood, line up your foam, and then apply weight. Hold for 30 seconds, let it adhere, and then you can let go. Once we've adhered the foam to the wood, we're gonna flip it upside down, Place it on our material with a little bit of overhang for each end. Flip the material up so it hits just before halfway. Grab our staple gun and staple across. Once we've finished our staples down the middle, we're then gonna fold in the ends, kind of like wrapping a Christmas present, and then staple them to adhere. To prevent the staples from scratching or scraping on flooring or carpet, we recommend putting something on the bottom. This can be as simple as an anti-skid liner you'd use in your cabinets to prevent dishes from sliding, or uh, for the sake of what we're using for today's video, a piece of floor carpet. Cut to the exact same size as the beam, and then you have two options to adhere it. One, a Velcro, female to male, or the same 3M adhesive we used earlier. Place one at the end, one in the middle, and one at the other end to line them up. Folds over in Velcros. And now you have a nice raised surface, anti-slip, and nice and ready to use. Some of the best features of the marine vinyl are one, you can choose the length of your beam, and two, once you're done, a simple spray and wipe and it's clean to go. With the homemade floor beam, even at just a meter in length, the gymnasts can practice skills that they would do in the gym at home. Some of these skills include split jump, handstand, jump half churn, and full turn.